So, hello, we're down at the lake. So the first thing I noticed when I got down here was I put Mocking D firmly on this on a trailer. She was hooked up, tied on, and someone has been down and completely untied her and tried to remove her. But I had I've taken away, I had my padlock on the trailer so you couldn't remove her. So there's absolute evidence that someone was after my trailer. I'm really, really annoyed and I'll have to report that to the club. It's a real shame because it's such a lovely place here. But yeah, someone was obviously trying it on. Here's Lulu's trailer. Now, <laughs> I'm hoping to God <laughs> that this is the right key because this is the only key I could find. Yes, good. Um, so what we're going to do today, we're bringing Mockingdy home. So, but I need Mockingdy to get Lulu. So what we'll be doing today is using Mockingdy to going out to Lulu. And then I'll be bringing both boats into shore here. Mockingdy will be put on the trailer, ready to go home. And Lulu will then take her to the jetty. We might go for a, a spin. As you can see, the weather's a little bit indifferent. We did have sunshine on the way down here. We've also had pouring rain and it's just trying to rain now. Um, but the idea will be to then maybe have a little spin on, the, on Lulu, a last little flurry on the lake. And then we'll get Lulu on the trailer and we'll come back next week for Lulu. So, um, and we'll park Lulu up by the club, ready for collection. So loads to do today, loads to watch. I'll try and do some instructional videos of how I do this as well as we're going along. Um, so let's get to it. Oh, oh and there's a big, oh, ow, <laughs> thorny bush in the way. So there's the uh, wheel clamp off. Um, this is my living in a city mentality that you do have to lock everything up in the UK, especially if you live in a city. So better to be safe than sorry. Woo. I'm not going to lie, it's hard work paddling with one paddle, Lulu. But as you can see, the wind just changed slightly, but it was, we are on a lee shore-ish here. So that definitely helped. Once she gets going as well, um, she definitely, uh, you know, keeps moving. But as you can see, we've got Lulu uh, Mocking D on the back. We're gonna get her on the trailer now uh, as a first job and get her ready to go home. Stones are really wobbly here. Right, let's make sure she's seated right, she's bang on. Get rid of all the water, there's not much in there. Can just use this sponge to get that water out. There we go, she's ready to be packed up. 
and put on the trailer. And that's all the paraphernalia I've got with uh, Mocking D at uh, the moment. I've took everything else home. So just need to get the cover on, get her on the trailer and she's ready to rock and roll. So there's the, there's the trailer hooked up. And you see I put the little safety round the tow bar and then that clicks down and it's nice and fast. I put the trailer on first because it, I don't have a jockey wheel on here. So the nose of the trailer would hit the floor, which makes this bit high and it's hard to then pull the, uh, the dinghy tro trolley onto the trailer. So next job is to get the, uh, the number plate on. So there's the uh, number plate carrier on. I actually use tie-its. So if you look here, I actually use tie-its rather than rope. They're just so good, aren't they, these days? So just to stop the number plate flapping about, I just use a bungee and that stops it flapping about. And then the next job, to get you a bit higher, is to run the electrics through. So I just realized I put the, uh, oh, that's the extension. I just realized I put the, uh, the top on, the cover on before. I'd actually run the cable through, but that's the only problem. Now I've got a little extension cable here as well. So I've got an extension cable because otherwise it's just too tight when the van turns at the pivot point up there. So that gives me plenty of wire to play with one will plug into the van. So I'm going to push that through the middle here and then we're kind of ready to put the top back on. Now we've just got to get it onto the trailer. Trailer, trolley onto trailer and I've got a really good system here. There's a little bolt here that sticks up so it, and uh, it stops the trailer moving fore and aft. Um, uh, so as long as you stop the trailer from going up and down, she should, she stored, the trolley can go up and down, she should in theory stay on the trolley, a uh, trailer, sorry, this is a trolley, this is a trailer. <laughs> so we've got the big purpose made strap that will keep, push the trolley onto the trailer and that's what we're going to do next. So I've just uh, fixed that with a bit of Gorilla waterproof Gorilla tape, should, should do for the journey home. And then these just protect the gunwales. This is brilliant, this ratchet strap. And then what I do, I put a few little fail safes. You can see one there and one the other side, just little zip ties and a little zip tie around there as well. Just you know, a little fail safe, just in case things fall, <laughs> fall off. Okay, we've got to do a light test. So put uh, main lights on. Oh, hang on, switch the van off. Right, it'd help if you, you had the actual thing plugged in. So main lights on. Brake lights. Oh, main lights off. Brake lights. Off, on, off. Left wing key. Right wing key, main lights on, just do a brake on and off, off, oh yeah we're good. Pull it out, pull it out, yeah. Fog lamp on, all ready to go. So last thing to do, just make sure you've got enough slack in this, so when you're turning corners, you know, it'll, it'll tighten up as you go around the corner. Um, and that, that should be enough, not too much that it's flapping everywhere though, so that's about fine. And that is one trailer, or one dinghy should I say, ready to go, ready to go home. Very sad.
Right, we're gonna take the trailer up to the main sailing club, ready for taking home. But we've got to then come back and get Lulu's trailer. And then we've got to come back and get Lulu. Let's go and get the other trailer. Let's hope we can pull her out of all these weeds. Oh. This trailer is too hard, too heavy to sort of pick up and carry any distance. So this is why we've got the jockey wheel. So what we do, let me go over this side, we make sure that this part is higher than the, the jack, than the tow bar, sorry. So we can do that by going like this, wrong way. And then we pull her close. I'm not, well, I will put that on. So I'm not gonna bother, but I'm only going down the road here. And then what we do, we, oh, wrong way, we go. Like that and she'll sit herself on hopefully oh we've got to pull this up there we go and then as we pull this up like that she should sit on there she's not quite on so let's just check yeah a little bit from that's it there we go and then oh yeah so that's ready to rock and roll just down the road. Before we do that, we'll give her a quick once over. That's not supposed to spin these jockey wheels. Just check there's nothing been uh, just corroded or got stiff. Could do a little bit of oil, that could. And also check everything's here because Oh, that's a bit stiff, that one. You can see there's a little bit of rust on there. So I need to work around this. In fact, all of these are a little bit rusty. Nothing that a bit of WD-40 can't handle for the time being. And while we're here, look, you can see, this is the is it swinging cradle. That allows you to launch and recover the boat in shallow water. Um, check the wheels. Yep, they're looking good. All the wheel nuts are there, unlike my <laughs> Mocking Beast trailer. There we go. So we're ready to go. So let's take this one and uh, then we'll come back for Lulu. Shh. There we go. And we can just, we're just going to manhandle this over here ready for retrieval when we get the boat back here. Oh, it's muddy here. Oh, yeah. Right, all I've got to do now is go fetch the boat. It's so sad to see everything closed. You know, all the boats are gradually going. Adventure Centre. I think the Adventure Centre's closed. Sometimes things are open at the weekend at this time of year but as of next weekend that's it. Um, I think they're going to do a lot of work here over the winter so they want this, you know, all the boats gone. So yeah, sad isn't it? That's the thing about um, sailing inland I guess is um, there's a season, isn't there? Fisherman on the jetty. Oh, there's always a fisherman on the jetty when you need to use the jetty. Oh well. So the wind's coming almost, you can see by these boats here, we're almost motoring straight into the wind. So we should be able to just come up on the jetty really nice and gently. 
and uh, and that should be it. There's Mabel, come to meet us. On the jetty, and we're going to get the trailer in now and uh, get her on the trailer. There's, there is some wind coming in, and the little one isn't keen <laughs> today. So, trailer it is, and we'll go to Barla have some fun. There's a lot to sh lot to do there, and loads of people around and family and all that. So, I've gone ahead and done it. There's Lulu, all locked up. <laughs> and stable secure i've actually done it like her got the front wheel off the ground she's going to stay there till next week and then we'll get the mast down and uh we'll we'll go and pick her up oh one last uh, hello to the RAF over here it's mocking d ready to pick up so now it's time for a spot of lunch and, uh, and work out what we're going to do before we go home. It's going to be a short day today.